Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. 2026 is round the corner and many of you might be enjoying Christmas. Many of you might be planning for your new year. But let me tell you, 2026 is just few days away from today. Let's try to get into what are the most important career skills, career path that you should focus in 2026. I'm going to talk about the top five career paths that you should focus in 2026. Let's get started with this video. Well, many of you might know with all of this AI, generative AI coming into the market, disrupting the industries, many things are changing, right? Many, many students of mine are coming to me and they're interested in AI. I have received so many applications, so many people coming to me from different backgrounds, cloud engineer, support engineer, uh, software engineers. Everybody wants to learn AI, which is good no doubt about it because yes the industry is changing companies are pushing towards ai and generative ai and agentic ai so learning these topics is completely completely fine but what about the career path what are those top skills what are those top job titles that you should focus on 2025 i have prepared a list based on my experience it is completely based on my experience guys if you have any type of questions or concerns let me know in the comment section and we'll try to have a discussion on that number five on my list is cloud engineering roles i have seen an urge increase in the cloud engineering roles recently many companies have started migrating started moving from on-premises to cloud architectures they are in need of cloud experts including cloud engineers cloud architects so if you want to target a particular role cloud engineering is one of those roles that can pretty much give you a great opportunity and of course you will also be able to earn a lot because cloud engineers and cloud architects are earning a lot in the market right now number four on my list is a bit shocking i should not be telling this but this is fact this is reality number four on my list is unfortunately data scientists data science which was one of the most important skills roles few years back has moved on from number one to number four now the reason behind that is many companies have started putting a lot of money a lot of investment into generative ai and agentic ai they want to come up with faster use cases, faster POCs as compared to their competitors. And they want to be market first. They want to get into the market as quick as possible because of which there has been an increase in AI engineering roles, but decrease in data scientist roles on paper. Does that mean data science roles are decreasing? Well, on paper, data science jobs are decreasing. But off the paper, eventually, my recommendation is if you are into data science or if you want to get into data science, my recommendation will be also get into the AI ops part, try to understand the operations part, try to understand a little bit about AI and generative AI and agentic AI and get into the AI engineering space, which is like an easier option for you. So I hope that answers my answers the gap between the uh, between the understanding many people might be thinking oh data science jobs are decreasing i'm not going to data science well that's not the fact that's not the reality if you want to become an ai engineer you still have to take the same path python statistics sql machine learning deep learning nlp and then take ai generative ai agent ai right number three on my list is data analyst very simple job very easy to crack one of the most fastest career paths i would say some of my data analytics students have become uh, they have got jobs literally in one and a half to two months and learning data analytics is a bit easier as compared to other areas because the curriculum is short you just have to learn few topics and you're good to go you can target one of the bi tools power bi preferably little bit of python little bit of statistics little bit of you know sql understanding uh, a little bit on data modeling you are good one and one month two months and you can definitely 
क्रैक थ्रू द डेटा एनालिटिकल डोमेन सो यस डेटा एनालिटिक्स सिट्स ऑन नंबर थ्री ऑन नंबर वन एंड टू आई लिटरली हैव थ्री डिफरेंट जॉब्स आई वुड से नंबर थ्री वॉज डेटा एनालिटिक्स फॉर श्योर बट इन नंबर वन एंड टू आई हैव थ्री जॉब्स मे बी वट आई कैन डू इज आई विल गिव सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियरिंग रैंक टू तो सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियरिंग इज स्टिल हॉट मैनी पीपल आर एक्सप्लोरिंग दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी मैनी पीपल आर एक्सप्लोरिंग दिस करियर पाथ एंड इट इज स्टिल गोइंग टू बी वन ऑफ द मोस्ट यू नो लाइक्ड अपॉर्चुनिटी और लाइक्ड करियर पाथ इन द नेक्स्ट फ्यू यूर्स एज वेल डजेंट मैटर हाउ स्ट्रॉन्ग ए आई इज सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियर्स बैक एंड इंजीनियर्स फ्रंट एंड इंजीनियर स्टैक फुल स्टैक इंजीनियर्स आर डेफिनेटली नीडेड इन एनी काइंड ऑफ इंडस्ट्री सो डो नॉट वरी अबाउट इट Learn AI as a secondary or a tertiary skill, but software engineering is still going to be hot. Well, I just have one slot, and there are two jobs. That's because, honestly speaking, I was not able to come up with any kind of conclusion. I will give both of these jobs equal balance, and I will place it on number one. What are they? If you are guessing it, let me know in the comment section before I announce it. if not let's get into this number 1 is a two roles data engineer and ai engineer the reason why i have two different roles is it depends on what type of profile you have if you are a fresher complete beginner i will recommend you to jump into ai engineering and agentic ai engineering focus on that good market you can break through If you are a fresher you want to try into data engineering it will be difficult because data engineers companies think twice thrice before hiring a data engineer it's always better to crack through data engineering from another job role if you are a data analyst you can get into data engineering if you are a data scientist or an ml engineer you can also get into data engineering but after having a certain amount of experience as a fresher it's difficult and companies do not even hire fresher data engineers honestly speaking but if you are an experienced professional then data engineering could be one of the opportunities that you can explore alongside ai engineering so focus both on these two parts learning career path wise ai engineering is bit easier data engineering is bit difficult because it's wide but 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 if you want to learn data engineering from scratch my recommendation will be break it down into two different parts one is aws data engineer one is azure data engineer focus one of them master it and get into the job market if you want to explore azure data engineering i have a beautiful udemy program the link will be in the description uh, and if you are interested in ai engineering i also have another beautiful udemy program of 100 plus hours of content <sighs> when i don't even know do we actually have 100 plus hours of course on udemy i have never seen any such course but i have my own course which is 100 plus hours on ai engineering if you want to access that with a discounted price let me know in the comment section just write down ai and i will share you the link of that course as well that's it i hope 2026 brings a lot of joy a lot of happiness to you in case you want me to do videos on a specific topic please let me know in the comment section and if you want me to come up with some specific project related videos also let me know in the comment section that's all about it my name is satish patnaik winding up this video happy new year and see you in the next video